welcome back to Drama and Popular Opinions. Today we are going to be doing the end of year tag, end of year book to be read list pile, whichever. I'm recording this for the second time because I have not learned the lesson that if there is no sound on my phone, I should definitely check that. <laughs> so yes, we're back. You don't care. And let's just go through the list because this will be an interesting one hopefully for someone <laughs> the first question is any books you still have to finish before the end of the year that you've already started lord of chaos which i have been planning to finish for a while but i just fell out of the mood for some reason and i've read more than half of so that should be finished pretty quickly if i sit down and do it but i really have to be in the mood to do so the Witcher, this specific Witcher book, I'm never going to read the entirety of The Witcher again, but this book and I think Baptism of Fire and maybe Tower of the Swallow are what is still worth reading. Tower of Contempt? No. Time of Contempt. Time of Contempt. I have contempt for, so I don't think we'll be touching that one again, but the other two I might consider because that's when the team comes together and that's arguably the best part of The Witcher aside from the individual stories so i need to finish at least blood of elves by the end of this year but we'll see about the rest of them so those are books that i've actually opened and started autumnal or wintry book to transition into the end of the year there are no seasons here <laughs> this is the mediterranean so it's been summer in october and it's winter in november so i don't know what what else to say there is no autumn here except in the appearance of the leaves so this is the perfect book tra to transition me into the end of the year because it's my favorite poet of all time and there's books about books poets about poems about november poems about snow about trees about a little river i love everything about this <laughs> so i read this occasionally i have already started i think i read a couple of these last night and i will continue to do so until the end of the year because this is the perfect seasonal poetry collection you can read it at any time as everything but it is a little bit of something to get you into the cold the next thing that's not that autumnal but <laughs> iron hand by charlie fletcher i'm atrocious with reading this that's because i didn't want to read the translation from the library and i don't like reading the ebook so it took me about a billion years to read this but autumnal in the way that England is autumnal like there's rain there's gargoyles everything feels gloomy and November-ish even though it might not even be November in the book if you know what I mean so this is a bit of a transition and I really really need to finish it and the last one that has nothing to do with autumn but look at the cover is <laughs> Shirley by Charlotte Bronte which is the last Charlotte book that I need to read also the longest because apparently Jane Eyre was the shortest of her books and that one has 500 pages but yeah Shirley I don't think is the last one she wrote it could be though because I know that her siblings died while she was writing it I I'm not sure if this one or Villette was last but I think I think it's this one it's just I want to read the last Charlotte I really want to read the last Charlotte and there's everything <laughs> autumnal and cold about the Bronte sisters so it could be like the perfect November book if I have the time for it. A new release still coming out. This is all I have. This is all I have. Boom got novel nine because I never really read new releases but I did have to highlight this because it's finally coming out in Japan not in in the English translation. That'll come in June or at the end of 2024 but it's coming out in Japan which means I will have access to all the illustrations which means I will have something new to read because or watch because I've never seen the illustrations before I have read the book like three times but I haven't seen the illustrations yet so I'm counting this as a new release because I will have something to look forward to when it comes out so it counts <laughs> three books to finish reading before the end of the year or finish in general this one is not necessarily something I will finish. I could DNF it. <laughs> Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. This brick I bought because it looked pretty. 
I really wanted to buy something and I'm not sorry I bought it. It's a beautiful, floppy, delightfully pretty edition. But I hated the first perspective. I'm already like 100 pages into it. I hated the first perspective, which was 80 pages long. I'm okay with the second one and I think there's a third. So I'm not necessarily going to finish this. <laughs> not necessarily. Because if a third of the book is that first perspective that I absolutely hated, we're going to have not a fun time with this. But if the other two perspectives are fine, then I think I will definitely finish it. We'll see. This is just like a big question mark. I don't think I would care if I didn't finish it because the object itself is so pretty. But I let's hope I will finish it. And let's hope that the other perspectives are not as stupid as the first one. <laughs> the second one, I'm not even gonna... I'm not even going to mention. Like, Catherine Arden's new book is coming out in February, I want to say. This is embarrassing. I think I haven't finished those vlogs in two-ish years. Maybe one. Let's be generous and say one year, but it's embarrassing. I'm not, I'm not mentioning it. The last one... I might, I might not even start it, but <laughs> Name of the Rose. The only reason I'm mentioning this is because I bought it when I bought Pillars of the Earth. So in my brain, it's sort of like intermingled as I have to read this together, I guess. If I give up on Pillars of the Earth, I will probably read this. But if I finish Pillars of the Earth, maybe I'll be in the mood for this because they're set in not the same period, but very close. And they have like monks and churches and gothic vibes and a mystery and it's like a similar type of thing so maybe maybe we'll see and next we have can your favorite book of the year currently be beaten by something else can you be surprised by a new favorite no <laughs> because i read now of the valley of the wind this year and that's the best book I read this year, the best book I'm going to read ever, very likely. I don't really say often that something is my favorite book of all time, but this could be. Like, it could be. So I don't think it can be trumped. And there's also Easter Eden, which doesn't exactly count because I started that in 2022, but I finished it at the beginning of January and read the bulk of it in January. So I think it counts in both of these are not going to be defeated by whatever I read. So <laughs> I don't think I can be surprised with a new favorite. Lastly, we have reading plans for 2024. Now that's stupid. And I never read in that way where I'm like, you better read this next year because why would you give yourself that limitation? Read whatever you want whenever you feel like it. But I do have a specific thing that I'm going to read because of an event. And that is <laughs> Dune. Now, two reasons. The third of these graphic novels is coming out in June. And Dune the movie is coming out in March. Which was supposed to come out in November. But now it's coming out in March. So I'm going to reread either the entirety of the first book or at least the second half. Because I want to be fresh when I go in to watch the movie. It's been a while now since I've read dune like what two years over two years i'm not sure but it's been a while since i read dune so i really need to refresh but when i watched the first film i'd read already the first two books so i need to refresh my mind and by the way if you were ever wondering if you should read these graphic novels instead of the book it's not as detailed as the book obviously but they're pretty good for stomaching that writing style. <laughs> if the writing style is really repulsive to you, I think this is the way to go. And the last one that is my pile of shame and it's The Count of Monte Cristo. I don't even know what to say about this one. I think my brain's kind of tricking me where I read, it's a heavy book, where I read the other one that's unreadable the Wordsworth edition and I wasn't hating it I read like 120 150 pages and then just stopped because I couldn't stand it anymore and my brain remembers that as an unenjoyable experience so now it's like I hated the book but I didn't the point is I'm really putting off reading this book 
but I have to. If not this year, I need to read it next year. That's the only time I will ever say anything because I am sick and tired of not giving it a chance because my brain is being a little bit rude <laughs> by remembering an experience that can't even count as a good reading experience. So yes, next year. That is it. That is it for this year in terms of what still needs to be read. There's always stuff that's going to happen. I could read a random book, a random manga. I also need to finish Ajin in case I, in case I haven't mentioned that. I, I just forgot. I need to finish a couple more things, but I'm way more flexible with manga. I'm way more flexible with like middle grades. I can always read that kind of. That's never in my plan. It just depends on my mood. I could pick up a graphic novel. I could read a random book that comes to mind. In any case, what I'm getting at, <laughs> what are your best books that you've read this year? Do you still have a favorite that's going to surprise you? What are you reading currently? How has this year been going for you in any case? Because the cold weather here came out of nowhere. I feel like I was in short sleeves one week and then just freezing the next. My muscles did not take that because I don't move at all. And now I have a very sore muscle. So I'm not feeling the greatest, <laughs> but how are you? How's life been going? And how have your reading, how has your reading been? Shit or less shit <laughs> is what I'm going for. So I'll see you in the next video.